Hi guys, welcome to The Witch and Stitches. My name's Lottie. Uh, if you've been here before, then welcome back. Um, and if this is your first video you're watching, um, basically uh, I just do a weekly vlog um, where I just show you everything that I've been working on, knitting, crochet, um, spinning, other crafts and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, this is one of those basically. Uh, <laughs> so this week's been very knitting heavy, so um, I apologise if you're not so interested in the knitting content. Um, it's just I've had a bit of an urge to like finish off some projects I've had on the go, which for me is quite quite rare. <laughs> so I've got to embrace that while I can. Uh, <laughs> By the way, I apologise if the lighting's a bit funny today, it's really, really miserable outside. Um, it's a horrible grey rainy day in South Wales, which isn't that unusual to be fair. Um, so I've got two finished objects to show you. Um, and if you are over on my Ravelry, um, or if you're over on um, the thread for Angie's Yarn and Yarns um, Knit Along, on Ravelry, you'll have seen them both on there, um, but I'm going to show you them both now anyway. One you've seen before and one you haven't, so that's exciting. Uh, so I'll show you the one that you've seen before. Um, so I have finished my On The Fence socks. Ta -da! There is a second one, I promise. There we go. So you can see I left the progress keeper in so you can see where I was last week. So I was here, just knitting the heel flap. Um, so I turned to the gusset, done this uh, little colour work section for the toe and then finished my toe off. There we are, I can see that a bit better. It's interesting to see actually as I've gone through the colour work sections that my, this is definitely improved. Um, I think this last toe is definitely the, the best of them. Um, it looks nice and crisp and the tension's a lot better. Um, so it's good to see like that I'm improving as I'm going on. Obviously this is my first time doing colour work um, of any sort so it's really exciting. Um, yeah, I'm really really happy with them. Um, I ended up using just over one full ball of the old pink. Um, and I've still got some left of the fog actually. So this fog colourway has done me two lots of contrast um, cuffs, heels and toes on two, two different um, sets of socks. So yeah, I've got a little bit left over. So that's fab, it's really, really nice yarn. Um, I realized when I looked at the ball band why it's so fluffy and gorgeous is because it's got a lot of alpaca in it, um, which I didn't realize when I ordered it actually. I just ordered it because I liked the colors. Um, but yeah, that's why it's so, so soft and dense and fluffy. Uh, so they're all finished, just need blocking now. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with how they turned out. Uh, so yeah, I'm pleased to get them done. I said, I said if I didn't say I would finish them, I'll probably end up finishing them this week. So um, this worked out. <laughs> I said I'd jinx myself if I, if I told you I was going to get them finished. Um, yeah, so they're done. Uh, my other finished project, I'm not really convinced on. I don't know if I like it or not. Um, it was just something I whipped up. Basically, I uh, bought a uh, ball of Hug It Out yarn, um, which is a Hobbycraft own brand one. Um, I don't know what they call it, Knit Craft, I think. Yeah, but I'm, it, it was, it's like super, super chunky. Um, I, d I didn't know what to do with it for ages and ages. So I thought, oh, okay, I'll just, I'll make a hat. Um, and I knitted and frogged this hat about five times <laughs> and then this this week I was just like do you know what I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it it'll have to do because I've had enough now um so I'll show you it anyway I had to use some contrasting yarn because I didn't have enough one ball one whole ball of this yarn wasn't enough to do a hat that's how ridiculously chunky it is um so to say I'll never, I don't think I'll be buying it again. Um, so yeah, this is the hat. Looks a bit like a tea cosy. It doesn't actually look that bad on. I'll try it on for you. So I think it's kind of cute on. You could even fold up this bottom ribbing section as well. 
Um, do, do, do. No, I think that looks cute. Um, yeah, so I quite like it on. I just think it looks like a tea cozy off for some reason. Um, yeah, so I just did a three by one rib around the bottom uh, and then the rest is just garter stitch. And then I added the contrasting color, went for this little mustard -y bit and the matching pom-pom on the top. Um, yeah, so I'm not super convinced, but Tom says it's okay. It's a gift, so <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. It's quite stiff, I think, is the problem. This yarn is just it's something else. I don't, like I said, I definitely won't be buying it again. It's very squishy, um, and I imagine it'd make a really, really nice warm hat, but yeah, I'm just not, I'm not convinced on it, but hey-ho, it's done now. It's another thing off my work list, so <laughs> that's <laughs> it's enough for me to celebrate the moment. I'm, I'm happy about that. Uh, so yeah, two finished objects in a week, I'm quite chuffed with. Um, I just, yeah, I've been really into knitting lately, um, so yeah, especially with um, both of those, they were just sort of straightforward knitting in front of the TV knitting, especially this bit. Uh, obviously you've got to concentrate a bit more when it comes to the colour work, um, but yeah, it's only a little bit, it's only a couple of rows, um, so I'll whip through that. that. Um, and I have started um, my next pair of socks, which is exciting. I told you I've got loads of socks to do in time for Christmas, so... This is next on the list. Um, so the yarn I'm using is this. This is the um, Winwick Mum collaboration with um, West Yorkshire Spinners. Um, I believe the colourway is called Seascape. Um, don't trust me on that though, because it's not written on the ball band for some reason, unless I'm just being blind. Um, <laughs> but that's what I believe it's called. Um, yeah, it's just beautiful. It's really, really pretty. Um, it I don't know how well the colours will come out on camera, but it goes from a very dark turquoise to like a light sort of uh, duck eggy colour. Really, really pretty. Um, so that is what I'm using. And the pattern that I've decided to knit is uh, it's called Hermione's Everyday Socks um, on Ravelry. Um, it is based on Hermione from Harry Potter. <laughs> I'm Harry Potter obsessed. Um, so yeah, and I thought it was a really, really cute pattern. Uh, so it is it is a free pattern as well if you're on Ravelry. Um, I will link it down below. Um, so it is so far looking like this, which I'm really, really chuffed with. Um, I love the way it's come out, you know, in the, the sort of stripes. So as you can see, it's like got a lovely texture to it. Um, get it to focus. Yeah, so um, it's just a one by one rib at the top and then it's this beautiful texture all the way down. Um, I'm just doing the heel flap, which is a complete mouthful of a stitch. It is slightly modified, gartered, edged, eye of partridge heel stitch. <laughs> which sounds like a tongue twister. I'm knitting a tongue twister. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, it looks really, really pretty. It's got this little garter edge, so it blends in nicely with the sock. And then it's got the eye of partridge bit in the middle, which is looking really, really nice in this yarn. Um, yeah, it just made me laugh when I saw that that was the name of the stitch. It just creased me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really, really liking how those are going. They've worked up really quickly. Um, the pattern's fairly straightforward, so it's not too much. It's still easy enough to knit in front of the TV. Um, but it turns out looking really, really nice. Um, so I'm, yeah, I'm really, really pleased with how those are going at the moment. Um, I've got another couple of pairs of socks that I need to get done um, in various colourways, so you can look forward to seeing those in the future. Um, but yeah, that is actually everything I've been working on this week. Um, like I say, I put the spin in on hold because um, I wanted to work on things that I've got going, um, and also the blanket the, the knit and crochet blanket that I've told you about before, um, that I am still pushing on with. It's got to be finished by the end of the month. So that I've been working on quite a bit. Um, I've now finished two of the four knit sections and I finished one of the three crochet sections. Um, they're completely done now. So yeah, not too much more to do, hopefully. Um, 
I really do need to get on with it. So that's probably going to be most of my focus over the next few weeks. Um, like I say, I'm hoping to get these socks finished as well over the next few weeks because um, I have got another few pairs I need to do before Christmas. Um, yeah, I might have another pair to do as well, uh, do before Christmas, but I'll see. I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to do those yet. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I've been working on. Um, nothing really exciting my end this week. Uh, it's been a bit of a mad week, sort of work-wise, and it is my brother's 30th birthday today, so I know he doesn't watch these, but happy birthday, Tom. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so I've just been doing a lot of prep and stuff for that. Um, we're having a little bit of a Zoom, like not Zoom, but like a, a video chat party kind of thing because we can't do anything, which sucks. Um, so yeah, I, I've been sort of preoccupied this week, but I'm chuffed that I've managed to achieve what I've done. Um, yeah. Um, oh, that was the other thing. I remember last week I told you I was going to attempt an amigurumi project, which I've never really done before. Um, and I said I was quite exci excited to have a go. Uh, you may notice that I haven't showed you that. Uh, that is because I started it, um, and then about half an hour later I frogged the whole thing because I just can't. <laughs> amigurumi is not for me. <laughs> I did say I've never done it before because it's just it's too fiddly and it's too precise and I'm just not that kind of crochet you know that's not my style really um oftentimes I just prefer to to wing it which I know is a bit controversial <laughs> but yeah I mean like it's worked out well for me obviously with the, the top that I finished last and showed you last week and the hat as well I've just sort of winged both of those um but yeah, I tried to make a little amigurumi bat, um, you know, for Halloween, but it didn't happen. <laughs> so yeah, I don't think I'll be trying amigurumi again anytime soon. Um, it amazes me that people are so good at it and like, it's one of those things, isn't it? I guess everybody's good at their own kind of thing. Um, yeah, it's just, it's not for me. <laughs> Let me know if you've tried anything um, just to find that it's, it's completely or not for you. I mean, it's the only way we find out, I guess, isn't it? But I'm sure everybody's got something that they really would love to be good at, but just just can't. <laughs> I'd love to be able to make cute little amigurumi, like animals and stuff, but it's not going to happen, I don't think. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all I've got to chat to you about this week. Um, like I say, it's been a bit of a quiet one. Yeah, so I've been trying to um, organise my stash as well this week. Um, so, poor Tom, I roped him in to help me out. Um, yeah, I, I look up there because it's all on top of the wardrobe. Um, so, yeah, I just sorted out all the projects that I've got coming up now between now and Christmas that I've got the yarn for already. I've just sorted them all into individual bags so that when I'm ready to cast them on, I can just grab the bag and, and go, all the yarn is, is there ready. Um, so that was really helpful. I feel like so much better about everything now, you know, because it's a bit overwhelming sometimes. Um, so yeah, I'm pleased about all of that. Um, I have got a Christmas crochet project that I'll probably um, start next. Um, I did sit, mention it in my last one about maybe making a mat for the Christmas tree to sit on. Um, so I think I might have a go at that. I'm thinking maybe like a hexagonal granny. Um, or something like that but yeah if you've got any ideas or if you've done anything similar let me know I'd love to see them um, I was thinking I might do a extra video next time uh, where I can answer some questions um, if you guys have got any questions for me um, so I might do that if I've got enough questions to answer I might do that this week um, if not, I will post over on my Instagram and see if you guys got any questions you want to know the answer to um, And I'll do that probably sometime over the, the coming weeks um, So yeah, let me know in the comments if you've got any questions um, And I will do like a little sit and chat and knit along kind of video um, So yeah, let me know uh, Nice to, to chat to you guys <laughs> Like I say, I'm sorry it's a bit of a boring one this week um, But hey, at least I've got two things finished, which is nice so yeah, thank you for joining me.
um, my little crafty coven. Um, yeah, and I'll see you all next week. Bye guys.